Do you need to reinstall Windows 10 or upgrade your old computer to Windows 10? Follow along as I demonstrate you how to download and install Windows 10 for free. You will need an internet connection and a 4GB flash drive. Open your preferred browser and search for Windows 10 download. Once you see the Microsoft website you can go to that and then from there on we'll download the installation media. Just save it on your downloads or whichever folder you would want and from there on you just run the, the installation media which is just a, a media creation tool. This will download and also create the USB for you to install Windows with. Once you have read the Microsoft software license terms you can then press accept. You can do an upgrade or you can just create installation media as I illustrate over there. Um, you can choose recommended options or you can change the options as you please. From there we'll say create flash drive. Select your flash drive. If you have multiple flash drives make sure um, that you're choosing the correct one. This would take a bit longer as I have fast forwarded this um, step of the process. Give it a few minutes while you do that you can continue what you worked. This is downloading the Windows 10 now and then it will create the installation media. If you did want a copy of the Windows file you would select the ISO image and then you would save it somewhere on your hard drive. Then you can use a tool such as Rufus to create the installation media instead of the process I'm showing you now using the uh, Microsoft media um, creation tool. I will show you in the next step how to do that. So the download has completed successfully and now it is starting to create the USB media which is copying the image that it's downloading to a USB and then the USB will be ready for you to create a full installation of Windows 10 to your new machine or um, if you wanted to upgrade you can use that same um, USB. This took quite a, a while but as you can see it is fast forwarded so be patient while this is being done depending on your your speed of your internet. The minimum requirements for Windows 10 would be a 1 gigahertz processor and 4 gigs of RAM. No actually 2 gigs of RAM. Sorry about that. You'll also need about 16 gigs of hard drive space for 32 bit and 20 gigs for 64 bit. So once this process is done you would be able to remove the USB flash drive and then insert it to the computer you would want to install Windows on. I will demonstrate to you this process now but before we do that I just want to show you how to download the ISO file and create your own installation media with a tool such as Rufus. So there you have it. The USB has been created and you may now go ahead and do the installation. But before we do that let's just run through the Rufus um, method. So there you can see your flash drive has been created. You can remove it and go ahead with the installation. But before we do that, we're just going to download the ISO and create one using Rufus. As you can see, it's the, exactly the same process. There I'm just selecting both images 32-bit and 64-bit. Instead of saying USB flash drive, we'll say ISO file. Save it where you would, where you prefer to, and then you can go ahead and download it. You don't need to use Rufus. There's many other tools that does the same thing. It's up to you. You can go and have a look on Google and test out different tools and see which which ones work for you. Rufus is just my tool of choice and what I have been using for a long time. So um, I know it works, and that's why I am suggesting that you 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 try out Rufus. At the start of this video I did mention that you need a 4 gig flash drive to install Windows with but if you're going to select both images um, Windows 10, 32 bit and 64 bit you will need an 8 gig flash drive. So there you can see I've downloaded Rufus you can just go to your browser and just say search for Rufus and download a very small file you don't have to install it. Um, you just run it once you've, in, once you've downloaded it um, as you can see now I'll show you the I've opened it you select your ISO image 
which is your windows and then just make sure you choose the select usb the correct excuse me the correct usb and then press start you could create a user um, or you can um, just leave it clean over there you see the usb i've plugged in once you put the pc just search on google for depending on your machine you are using for your boot menu options key as you can see there it shows you your usb drive or the hard drive so i'm selecting the usb that's plugged in so you have to restart the machine and then press like in my case i had to press f9 You don't need a, a key so just select i don't have a key and then just choose the one you would want which is home which is the windows 10 home is the free version of windows the upgrade or clean install would you select custom over there you select your drive and then just press next give it a few minutes i fast forwarded it for you so you wouldn't have to sit through the whole thing This process would, would be the same for Windows 11, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Server. Most of your Microsoft Windows products works the same when it comes to installations. The reason why I don't change the boot order in the BIOS, um, just choose the boot menu option when restarting the machine is, is once you've restarted, once you've finished the installation, the machine restarts and if you've changed your boot order, it will continuously boot to your USB. So in this case, once you've done installation and it reboots, it will actually boot to the hard drive, which is the, the way you would want it. Um, just select your keyboard layout there and then just press next we in south africa choose the usa keyboard layout because that's what we are familiar with you can choose an email account there but what i do i just give any email and then just press next um, if you did want to sign in and just choose any password, any um, just make up a password and press next. If you did want to link it with um, the Microsoft account, you can just say create account. So there you'll say if something went wrong, then just press next. So yeah, you'll set up the default account on the PC that you're going to use. In this case, I made a test. You can use your name or whichever you prefer. Select the password. And just confirm that password again in case you do forget um, your password just create the security questions which you would use um, to reset the password if you did forget it like i said previously you can use an online account so if you do have problems you can reset the password by using your um, microsoft account I would say I would suggest that you read through through the this um, menus before just accepting. But for me, um, I just leave it as not now and then just skip most of it. You can just pause it if you do need to to check what I am doing there because I know I was moving a bit fast. I don't want to make the video too long, but I just want to give you a. A brief overview of installing Windows.
that I fast forwarded it again for you so so you don't have to wait the entire time for it to finish over there you'd see it will come up with Microsoft Edge just press continue You can sign in with a Microsoft account or you can sign in with your Google account. Um, over there you see continue with your Google account. Just say con continue browsing. You can change your colors over there. But there you have it. Microsoft 10 installed. Um, in the next video I will show you how to install programs. Thanks for watching.